And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Turbo Twisted Fate to kick off the day today. Uh, this is going to be our first deck. This deck is going to be built around leveling up Twisted Fate and the NAB mechanic. So the cards that you've definitely seen with Bilgewater before. Uh, we're going to be pretty heavy on our Bilgewater because we need to hit that Allegiance with Yodel Grifter now to create the warning shots. Um, the, what we're going to be doing for our Splash region is it's going to be Targon. Uh, because of the new Bastion and how good this new Bastion is, we're going to be uh, playing Bastion alongside of Twisted Fate to be able to give Twisted Fate a spell shield that will stay on there. Plus, Pale Cascade is just really efficient and draws cards, which we need to have for Twisted Fate. And then Solari Soldier is just such an amazing one-drop to be attacking with early, uh, especially when we have all this other damage you know, like our warning shots and make it rains and stuff. We have a bunch of damage that can add up. And so having like a 3-3, three, three, you can play on turn one and put them down to 17. That's important as well. Um, so so we're going to be splashing uh, Bilgewater here. Now, we are going to be trying to level up Twisted Fate pretty fast. So we're actually playing a couple Pick a Cards. Also a couple Pilfer Goods. You know, some more ways to draw extra cards like that. Um, going to Jaw Hunters. Jaw Hunters is a card that should be pretty awesome against Bastion, because Bastion, just given the spell shield, uh, doesn't protect against challengers. So maybe Jaw Hunters can take down a Lee Sin or a Zed or something like that for us. Of course, all the Riptide Rex is at the top end. That card's pretty broken, and that's our deck. So let's play Turbo Twisted Fate. So it's a donation deck. That's what the two Ds over here stand for, donation decks. So these are viewer submitted decks. We got three of them on the day today and then we're going to revisit mountain diana as well get some invoking in because invoking is a lot of fun so that's what we're going to do with mountain diana probably going to be some longer games today um, these decks aren't really winning too fast so we're going we're to be playing some long games today all right we're playing against uh trundle trindamir trundlemir we got new Petty Officer, first time trying out new Petty Officer. Petty Officer is not good against... Um, it's not good against Avalanche, but still just a pretty decent card. I kind of just want to keep these Pill Cascades. Maybe I need to be more aggressive and mulligan for ones and two drops. What I really, One thing that I really like about Pill Cascade besides it being awesome, is that uh, they are two of our eight Targon cards are in our hand, so that just increases our chances of having the Yordle Grifter hit. Obviously, they can have Avalanche. That would be a bummer, but I don't think that attacking for two is the way to go because of Catalyst of Aeons. I'd rather have them... You know, if they got Avalanche, they got it. You know, they're, they're going to play it, but... Their plan's Catalyst of Aeons, or Weirding Stones, like that kind of stuff. Gather round, gather round. I don't want them to have... Or I want to try to do as much damage as I can. Alright, so we got new picks. <laughs> Look at us here, first time getting 3-1 uh, Petty Officer. But Petty Officer was, you know, people think that <clears throat> the 3-1 was just a nerf, which... It's definitely looking like it <laughs> right now with that Vile Feast. But it also kind of got buffed a little bit, right? Because now it can get the new and improved picks. So that's a, that's a thing. The trolls are going to war. Allegiance. You don't want to yeah. Hit that Allegiance. Could be an important... Harsh Winds. Could be... All right, taking out one trundle. Hopefully, no more trundles. Leave your bags at the door. Boys, let's talk about your dad. Petty Officer dying to Vile Feast is pretty rough. Hey, what's up, Adam? Good morning. This 
one's on the house. Definitely considering going uh, Petty Officer Powder Keg. Could just go pick a card and put something back. But then what are we doing with that? Who knows? I'll just put this Petty Officer back. Yeah, I could definitely see playing this deck without Petty Officer. How about another round? Twist of Fate, I need you right before we draw all these other cards. Gonna close up? Nice Revitalizing Roar. I don't need that card. So playing that and Yordle Grifter. King of Trolls coming through. Ugh, missed. The Allegiance, that's a bummer. <laughs> I wish I would've just played Twisted Fate. Yuck. I think the Yorgrifter could find us maybe some more removal. I already had another twist of fate in hand and, and Yordle Grifter, you know, being the draw to I'm always up for a round or two. Dead in their tracks. Even if they have even if they play the other ice pillar, they're just giving the Yordle Grifter the vulnerable. Yeah, I should have just played. I mean, obviously we missed, and so definitely should have. You know, we had Bastion on top. Should have just played the twist of tape. And then you yeah, could use the other one to pick a card. Yeah, could have done that. Um, so I guess we just Riptide Rex and hope it kills Trundle. Or if not, we can we can challenge Trundle. And they call me a shark. Yep, car games are like that. Uh, shoulda, coulda, woulda, yep. Yep, that's... <laughs> that's life. But yeah, maybe next turn, next time, if I'm in that exact same scenario, I'd go Twisted Fate. That's, a, that's what makes playing, like, playing the same deck a whole bunch. It does make you, like, it does really improve your ability to play that deck because you do get to see uh, so many different, um, yeah, so, so many different scenarios. Nope. And so with, with seeing all the, you know, all those scenarios all the time, Kind of make some different decisions. Is pick a card even better than than salvage? I'll knock him dead. Get ready Pretty fair question, right? Down. Worth my while. Son of a 
Okay, you try to salvage and change it later to pick a card. Okay. Vessel small, but she ain't lacking courage. Yes, trip back order. That's a good one. Put that on the shipwreck hoarder, play shipwreck hoarder. We have shipwreck hoarder. Do some challenging. Three teeth told me about this one. Maybe one pale cascade. Actually. Lady Luck is smiling. Wow. Didn't really expect this to work. What do they possibly have in hand? They're just doing nothing. We want to draw anything that says draw a card on it. That's what we want to draw here. Anything that says draw a card. We do not want one mana two twos. That's the worst thing in our deck to draw. One mana two twos. Okay, so that was their plan, was just Ruination. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. <laughs> we got our own Ruination. We know the value of coin. And it must be just sitting on a bunch of removal spells. Also, or yeah, Catalyst of Aeons. That makes sense. <laughs> okay, well, we know they don't have any Ruinations left. Don't need to play around Ruination. I will block. No. All right, we're gonna make it rain and kill this half of Trindamir. So now Trindamir is leveled up. So every future Trind Trindamir will be leveled up. So then Rex does 2 damage to them and 5 damage to this. It's basically, do I want a Rex or do I want to use a Ruination right now, like before Rex? Would I rather just Ruination? Because um, if I play Rex, then the Ruinations aren't going to be doing very much. Where I could, like, Ruination now, they play another Trindamir, then I can Rex that. Yeah, if I Rex right now, I get to open attack. Okay, so this is the problem with Rexing right now. Yes, I get to open attack, but then let's say that they have like Trindamir their next turn, and you know they probably have they're probably sitting on atrocities. You know, like then I can't really block Tr like another Trindamir. I'm gonna have to Ruination because I'd really have to be worried about Trindamir plus atrocity. So then I just kind of wasted this Rex. I mean, I guess the Rex did. All right, we'll still just play. I mean, I guess it would still attack once, but that's what I'm scared of. I'm scared of more Trindamirs plus atrocity and like. Basically thinking this is a good time to use Ruination um, before I, I Ruination away my own Riptide Rex. Like I, I don't want to, to do that, but we'll have to do that if they play another tr Trindamir their next turn. All right, pass turn. Yeah, kill breaker. No, actually, <laughs> this is the worst treasure. Never mind. I just saw a treasure. I got excited, but no, actually, this one doesn't really do anything. Yeah, my my opponent has not had 
very much going on. So what if we play, what if our deck just has three Jaw Hunters, because Jaw Hunters is awesome, for the three mana slot, no Petty Officers. Right now, okay, right now there's three Petty Officers, two Jaw Hunters, so five five total cards. What if it's three Jaw Hunters and then two Zap Spray Fins? That kind of sounds better, doesn't it? Yeah, that probably sounds better. Yeah, you thought about cutting Petty Officer, but you wanted me to try him? Yeah. Yeah, now drawing another warning shot. Yeah, we could definitely go Powder Keg. Uh, mm. it. You'll fight or you'll swim. Uh, just go one, more one drops. Jagged Butchers. Wow. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I mean, I can't, I can't stop them. King of Trolls coming through. All right, so that's their last trundle. So we've killed three trundles, we've killed one Trindamir. This warning shot they know about. That was the Yodel Grifter one. There's plenty of killing left. Treasure trove. The dead don't need riches. Alright, GG's. Took them a while to find their win cons. A little too long. Cool. Alright, that works there. What do we got? We got Bastion with this stuff. Probably don't need Bastion. I don't know, maybe I should be keeping him. Ooh. I'm gonna keep warning shot in hand because of these nav cards. Just have this as a T2. <laughs> oh no! Should have played warning shot. Made it a three-three. These old eyes still see far and clear. Ooh, I like that. One mana troll chant. Wow. Talk about a good card. One mana troll chant. Like, Troll Chant's already an awesome card. Now make it one mana. Okay. We'll get unnerfed Deep Meditation. So if I block here, it lets us open attack. No, I'm just not going to block. I don't want them to get that extra card right now and have more options. Okay, 
we are going to go ahead and deep meditation. While it cost just two mana. A little black market merchant. Get three mana will of Ionia. Like these mana costs that, that we got going on over here. Name. You just let it happen. This is this is actually a tough decision on which one of these to do. I kind of want to just blue card, honestly, but I'll go gold card. Try to take down this Ramping Wolf, so it's not challenging my Twisted Fate. So they're probably not going to have that much removal. All that glitters. Okay. I suppose that's a thing. Get bloody, get paid. Winter take you. The dead don't need riches. So we think pick a card. So yeah, maybe maybe pick a card here. The problem with pick a card is I probably have to cast Will of Ionia. So, like, I may not just be able to, to play three fleeting cards. That's that's my point, is that we're, we're probably going to get some fleeting cards I won't be able to actually cast. Cool. We'll take that. Oh, <laughs> sure. That is great. I'll trade Deny. Away for that. Absolutely. I will unite the Frail Yord. You don't have to unite the Frail Yord, you know. We can do that tomorrow. Doesn't have to be today. It be tomorrow. I don't know if I would pass if they would just pass also. Probably. Like, I don't think I'm getting... Like, I don't think I can go warning shot pass and then they just play Ash, right? Like, I just don't think that that, that happens. Like, I just think that they will play around. Um, I think they will safely play around that. No backing down! Cool. Ash down. That's big. If I would not have... There, I guess he... Never mind. Never mind. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Sure, Solari, Solari soldier. I'll play you. Ionia speaks through me. Danger pays. What do we got? Terror of the Tides. Terror of the Tides seems like a good card to put back. We don't need that one. And yeah, I'm not sure if those cards are better than Yolo Grifter. I think probably rather just have Yolo Grifter. Peace begins within. <clears throat> Yolo Grifter's for the nab, for the draw card with the nab. That's quite strong with Twisted Fate and with Black Market Merchant. Alright, so we'll play Solari Soldier, does blue card. I'm basically going to be using Twisted Fate red card to help turn on <clears throat> some of this some of this stuff.
Be good. I just attack. You cannot win. Your attack is obvious. Yeah, I could have done Riptide Rex with, you know, red card with pick a card and then go Riptide Rex. We'll just attack first. Force them to play some more spells. Alright, double harsh wins. Of course, the one problem with going Riptide Rex this turn is... Is that then I don't get to play the black market merchant? Um, I could put the black market merchant back with pick a card. We could do that. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff going out that karma. <laughs> yeah. All right, GGS two and O. Oh. It was in the card. Is Mega Rain good in this matchup? Like, do I, do I keep Make It Rain? I'm going to keep Jaw Hunters. I'm going to keep Twisted Fates. Do I keep two Make It Rains? Maybe I'll just keep one. Make It Rain does pop Bastion pretty effectively. Efficiently. We each hold a world within... And yeah, barrier from Lee Sin too. But I'm not sure if we want two of them because it doesn't like they're not playing any one health units that it's going to be killing. I don't know. They pass quickly. Kind of seems like they want me to do something. Then they play Zed. Like, that's a, a fast pass. It's like they want to play Zed. I think. Okay. Zenith blade on that thing. Do have a second Jaw Hunters now. I think if I if I play Jaw Hunters, I can't block a Zed, so their Zed's gonna just level up. I guess that's just the way it is. I don't want to waste my mana now. Um, I wanted to, like, Twisted Fate gold card on, like, a Lee Sin or something, you know? I don't really want to use it right there. Um, like, I can block and Pale Cascade. That's probably just fine. Fish out of water. So they Pale Cascade also, but they still just trade. Maybe this would be better to make it rain. I don't want to do it the next turn because I don't want them to then use like be able to have a, a new pump spell that saves it. I know it would be nice for, like, being able to pass priority. But I would be worried about that. So I have seven mana. My selection speaks for itself. I am the blade in the darkness. Dude, Jaw Hunters is sweet. Because we have Jaw Hunters plus Pale Cascade still. Yeah, Jaw Hunters looks great in these in this matchup. He's even like blocking. He said like they have no no removal. All right, one set down. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. 
Dead in their tracks. Fortunately, that doesn't do any damage. I don't really get a good pill for goods. Um, I guess I just waste my mana. So I can either go Devour Adepts and try this, or attack. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Remember my words. Yeah, I'll try that later. I'm gonna try to turn on Plunder. In her radiant blessing. Don't ask where it's from. Ask how much. All right, zero mana mountain goat. Need to worry about cards in hand. So I have eight cards in hand. Got to worry about that a little bit. I'll see this through. Safety will cost you. I'm getting all these stupid mountain goats. Okay, so we're at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in hand. Five out of eight for Twisted Fate. So nine in hand, so I could pass. I don't have to play anything right now. I will not hold back. So Twisted Fate's at five. That was honestly not very good nabs. <laughs> Getting two mountain goats, a mentor of the stones, and a bastion. We already have multiple bastions. Not not very good nabs. I'll see this through. Yeah, quite poor nabs. I will not hold back. The dragon spirit awakens. Yeah, so De Devourer would not have worked for just the cards that they've just played this this turn. Well, they just drew that Pale Cascade, but the cards they had in hand with the heal and stuff. That, so the Devourer wouldn't wouldn't have worked. Yeah, those are really bad. <laughs> and what do you want me to do with Pale Cascade? I mean, just play it and see if we. I guess play it and see if we draw another card. Is that seven? Maybe we get to eight. So close. Gotta trust your instincts. So close. Too much garbage. Too much garbage. Yeah, Rex will be nice. That we're we're definitely gonna draw Rex with this pick a card, and that's gonna be nice. Let's draw that card for sure. No. We got that sea monster back. Back heretic. Act free of thought. So put him down to four. Put them down to one. <clears throat> Boo. I'll see this through. Conflict is all in the mind. Those are the cards that I wanted to, to nab from them, not not their crappy mountain goats.
All right, definitely bashing that thing. That puts him to two. <clears throat> Pretty close to killing them. Try pill for good, see if we take anything that's good. Take a spell. Hmm, no spell. So close. <laughs> Just, we keep on drawing all these crappy units. We don't need any of these things. I don't, yeah, I don't see us. I don't see how, I don't see anything better. We need Concussive Palm to stop Lee Sin, but Lee Sin has the spell shield, so we can't. We can't gem our opponent's Lee Sin. I wish we could. No. Our enemies cannot hide. Well, unfortunately, sometimes you just don't nab anything that matters. The cards we nabbed were just terrible. That's unfortunate. Yeah, we had yeah, we couldn't find any of our three Rexes and we had the worst nabs. I know, yeah. Yeah, Twisted Fate was seven out of eight. We were real close to Twisted Fate there. We had a bunch of things go wrong for us in that game of like or not really necessarily go wrong, but we just need one little thing to go right. Okay, I I'm not gonna just keep the Riptide Rex in hand though. Even though we needed it last game. I'm not going to just keep it in hand. Would love to see Jaw Hunters. Is the one true light. So we want to play this before they play their 1-3. Or Mountain Goat. We each hold a world within. I guess I'd have Pale Cascade. No, except against Mountain Goat, but. Speak, I say. Bleh. So I could nab right now. No, we'll wait on them. I just want to kill their eye of the dragon. I'm gonna get Twisted Fate and play. The problem with playing Twisted Fate, like let's say, like if I play Twisted Fate, they can play Lee Sin next turn and kill my Twisted Fate. That's a problem. I would go blue card. Yeah, just pass. Yeah, Alpaca Joe, yeah. If I would have, yeah, in hindsight, yeah, if I just didn't play the Pell Cascade to level up Twisted Fate, I could have used that to kill my opponent. Good call there. I would have saved that. So they have three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards in hand. Never lost a fair game. Never played one. So they can only get two gems from this right now. And plus, if they if they don't play anything else... Yeah, I, I love taking a spell shield from him for this red card. I'm a people person. I love that. Skill and grace to tear your breath away. Sure. I will block. So now they have 10 cards in hand, right? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So their next card is going to get burned. Discipline and conviction. Burn a champion. Champion. Ah, just a Claws of the Dragon. Looks like trouble. Mm, could set up Jaw Hunters.
They kind of have to play something, right? Because they can't just have keep the 10 cards in hand. You would think, right? Gems are superb. Uh, bad for the teeth, though. Blood and guts, golden glory. That was just a waste of a mana. Which turns back into a gem anyway. Like, that was just a waste of a mana. And there we go. Yeah, so they're stuck at 10 cards again. GG's. It was in the cards. All right. The Jaw Hunters is great. All right, so there we go. We went uh, four and one. It had a, you know, definitely, definitely could have been a five zero, and felt like it should have been a five zero. Um, you know, a lot of things went went bad for us that last game that we lost. Um, that that twi that Lee Sin Zed matchup does look really good with this deck, and, and Jaw Hunters just looks awesome there. Um, yeah, that that looks awesome. And then you know we have all this nab that we can hopefully take their spells and not just all their units. Um, Slurry Soldier was. Okay, I, it does it does help turn on plunder. Like it's it's an important part of turning on plunder. I'm not sure if we need three though. Maybe maybe we could get away with just like five total one drops. I don't know. It's nice having like those one drops pressure them and everything. Um, you know, being able to have those on on turn one, get the pressure on, and then we have all this other good stuff. I didn't really I didn't really regret playing them, but I like this this change after the first game, getting rid of petty officer, playing sprayfin, playing another jaw hunters. I think that's definitely an upgrade. Um, and yeah, there we go. So there we go. Turbo Twisted Fate. Uh, long games, but uh, very, very good games, that is. Uh, I, I think I like Zap over Salvage. Yeah, Salvage would help you level up Twisted Fate a little better. But Sprayfin is just an, a threat on its own, and you're always drawing a pretty good card with Zap. I, I mean, I could see playing, could, play, could see playing Salvage though. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be opposed to Salvage over Zap. It's close. I like getting the the two two elusive. So basically, okay. So they both cost four mana. The thing is, is Zap's Rayfin is slow speed, and a Salvage is burst speed. That's that's a big difference. But Salvage, you draw two. Sprayfin, you draw one. But you also gain an additional mana with the attune, and also. It's basically like you're drawing two with the spray fin. It's just one of those cards is a zero mana two two elusive that goes right into play. I think spray fin's probably better overall, but I guess for twisted fate maybe it's salvage. I would keep it like this um, for the time being. <clears throat> if spray fin underperforms somehow, then then you could replace it with salvage. Um, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And feel free to leave those comments if you try the deck out yourself. Let me know how it goes. Um, anything else? Like we we did have those uh, you know those three games against Twist against Lee Sin Zed. <laughs> I keep saying Twisted Fate for them. We did have those three games against Lee Sin Zed where our deck looked really strong and Jaw Hunters in particular looked really strong. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.